Hello everyone, welcome back. I would like to take this opportunity. Thank you. Thank every one of you for liking, for watching, for subscribing to our channel. We appreciate guys um, the time that you allotted, the time that you spent to watch our videos. So, um, again, I just want to ask you a favor guys. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification button for you to be able to be updated on our videos. Okay guys, thank you. Thank you for your support and the etc. Uh, vids. Um, today, our topic is gonna be um, how to write an effective and convincing um, statement of purpose. First thing we're gonna talk about what actually is statement of purpose. So statement of purpose is a document we're in um, which is one of the requirements for you to apply for a student permit or visa in Canada. So guys, um, student permit is one of the best, fastest, and easiest way for you to be here in Canada. So what are you going to do? What are you going to talk about in your statement of purpose? So all you need to do there is talk about yourself, talk about your um, situation back home before, talk about your job, talk about your business. Talk about your family, talk about anything that you did in the Philippines that um, that will convince the immigration officer why do you want to go to Canada, what is your purpose, where, where are you want to study in Canada, why Canada, why this college, why this program. So guys, without further ado, let's, do, let's go and uh, let's talk much more step by step, every single detail about applying or about writing. A statement of purpose guys you know what I am very excited for today's video guess what we have one of the alumni of Seneca College today we have a guest who also went through the path of being a student uh, here in Canada an international student here in Canada he graduated um, marketing and management back home in the Philippines at University of Santo Tomas and he left his job as a sales manager in a pharmaceutical company back home in the Philippines for what? to come here in Canada and study business analytics and statistics at the same college of mine at the same college where I am studying right now Seneca College here in Toronto, Canada now, what um, in what situation brother Aaron now is? He is now currently residing in Edmonton. Actually, after graduating, I was kind of a someone who's looking or looking up at him. We have met in um, our schools. There is a Filipino community at Seneca College. We have met in that uh, group chat of us. So he is one of the most active there and uh, yeah, I just kind of able to watch every step that he made here in Canada. Not everything, but just some of it. I saw him after graduating, working here, um, moving to Saskatchewan and then uh, recently he moved to Edmonton where I think he's gonna settle. And now he's working as a marketing lead. In one clinic in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Okay, guys, without further ado, um, please help me give him round of applause, brother Aaron Simon. Hi, guys, my name is Aaron, and I'm a friend of um, Emerson, and he is asking me on tips about making an SOP, making an effective SOP. So Ang advice ko lang is that make it concise, make it complete, and at the same time make it true. Kasi kailangan makita ng visa officer na talagang totoo lahat ng sinasabi and stated facts and information about yourself and what's the reason behind studying in Canada. So when it comes to your education, your work experiences, and what do you want to do in Canada 
uh, why is it you're really eager to study in Canada? Yun yung mga information na gusto niyang makita. And why did you choose your campus? And why did you choose your program? And what is the next step? Kung ano yung future niyo when it comes to your education after school? And even kung makakuha ba kayo ng work experience Canada? In my case, I have told the visa officer in my letter that I'm really eager to do studying here in Canada because uh, I think that it will boost my career back home. So, pakita niyo din yung strong ties niyo in the Philippines. So, he will think na talagang babalik kayo and magagamit niyo yung education niyo sa Canada as an advantage sa career path niyo sa Philippines. So, yun lang. Make it concise, make it complete, make it truthful. Yun lang mag-share ko sa inyo. Goodbye and thank you Emerson for testing me. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Brother Aaron, for the tips. Surely, our viewers will get something, will get something, learn something from that short speech of yours. Yes, guys, as what Brother Aaron said, make your statement of purpose concise, complete, and make it as good as possible, as good as you can. All you need to do is convince the immigration officer. That's it. Once you be able to convince the immigration officer, there's nothing he can do about your um, application but to approve it. Okay, now, let us go to the content of uh, your statement of purpose. For me, I check my statement of purpose before and I found there are some, um, I found there are eight parts for that SOP to be effective, for that SOP to be um, complete. Um, and these eight parts is the thing I want you to remember and I want you to focus on. So here's the contents. Here's the every single part of an effective statement of purpose. Number one, what you're gonna do is to introduce yourself. This is the first part of your statement of purpose. All you have to put there, all you have to write there is your basic personal information um, like your name, address, current address, age, and the school of your choice, program of your choice. Speak a little bit about your LOA. When did you got it? When did you approve for an LOA? And uh, take a bit from that LOA. There's going to be... Um, it's going to be written there, the duration of your studies. Um, what semester or what uh, year are you going to start? So those are the things that you only have to speak on your um, personal information. Actually, we started on the personal information to build something so that um, the immigration officer can say our eagerness, eagerness to be here to study here in Canada. And second thing is the family background. Although you already have the IMM 5707, which is one of the attachment in your application, one of the requirements for the study permit application, but in your statement of purpose itself, you're still going to have to discuss a little bit about your family, a bit about a little bit about your, let's say, about your parents, about your siblings, spouse, um, about your children, and uh, just tell something about their professions, what they are doing in life, and mention there that if and only if there is something happening for you, something happened to you here in Canada. Let's say, let's just say um, you just be, especially now in COVID or in pandemic situation, you got into or you've been into a, a financial um, difficulties you got into financial difficulties so just mention there that those family members of yours are committed to support you financially if and just in case needed this is somewhat you are already building some foundation or should I say making the immigration officer believe that you are financially capable and uh, 
you have your family members to help you just in case you needed some financial um, support so in that part you already have um, something or you already um, you already been able to build something something that an immigration officer will hold to will look to that you are capable willing and really eager to study here in Canada so that's the second one the third one is gonna be your education and employment what I want you to do is just talk a little bit about your degree or the course that you graduated back home in the Philippines also discuss about uh, your employment um, tell tell the immigration officer about your first job and uh, from your first job to your um, most recent one discuss something about what you do um, this part is somewhat way for the immigration officer to think that you are a professional individual and you are to be better you are to be better after you finish your studies here in Canada make the immigration officer believe that you are a good and professional person a professional individual who really is seeking for more opportunities who really is seeking for more knowledge to be a better person and that is um, the only way to be in that one is to be here in Canada study and uh, to take advantage of the very good um, the very good education system of the government of Canada and uh, the number four is gonna be your chosen country or why did you choose Canada out of all countries in the world why Canada mentioned there that uh, there are yeah the, j just like the way I said I mentioned in there that there are a lot of colleges a lot of universities all over the world a lot of countries who are offering the same program that you want to take here in Canada explain and uh, convince I mean just tell the immigration officer why did you choose Canada over all countries over a hundred of countries in the world mention about the advantages um, tell there that you did some research about Canada education and you found it as one of the best as in one of the best uh, education system in the world so you want to take advantage of the best um, education system and you want to be um, you want to take a bite of that knowledge you want to take a bite of that experience that Canada itself can offer you so that's gonna be a good uh, point for them to say that oh I can see that this individual is really willing to learn and really really believe that Canada is one of the best so that's what you wanna put in their mind on the immigration officers mind so uh, that's the fourth one the next is the fifth one and uh, why did you chose that school and that um, specific program that you enrolled or that you applied for your LOA of course um, the program that you chose should be that's why earlier on the part 3 I think we discussed about the, the degree or about your education back home in the Philippines all you wanna all I want you to do in this part is discuss why did you choose this program why did you choose this school I wanna say that probably I can say in my part I said there that I choose this program I choose international business because I graduated um, business administration back home in the Philippines and I wanna um, learn more about business I want to learn more about international business I want to level up my knowledge I want to level up my experience so um, that what makes the officer think that I really really want to learn from Canada and this program is aligned to what I graduated back home and this program could be um, able to make me a better one a better individual and uh, 
there is just one thing that I am thinking on this part. So maybe you graduated something and you wanna enroll or you wanna pursue something different or a different diploma or a different different course, a different degree. So what you're gonna do is this. Um, let's just say you graduated education back home in the Philippines and you wanna start or you wanna enroll um, international business here in Canada. What um, explanation or what discussion you could say there is that yeah after graduating education i did pursue my education career and i found business as one of the uh, most directing path or the most successful path for filipinos like whenever i look at there are businesses whenever i look at different um different from different careers from different degrees doing business so just mention there that you did start your own business you did start your own business by pursuing your education career and you found it uh, a little bit struggling before you don't have that enough knowledge about business so you want to enroll you want to um, take an, the opportunity to study in Canada about business to enhance your knowledge to to have more information on to have to have more knowledge about business and you found Canada you found this school you found this course or diploma as the tool or as the as the key for you to make your business bigger to make your business better and if you may if you may have the knowledge enough knowledge from Canada you want to bring your business into the international market so that is one thing um, that you can take maybe so if you just have thinking about switching from your course back home in the Philippines into other course just have something or discuss um, make, make the immigration officer um, understand why are you switching from one um, course to another so that is the number five the next one is uh, the mo one of the most important one and one of the most reason why um, applicants uh, are being refused. Home ties. Home ties, guys. What are your home ties? What makes you sure that you are going back home in the Philippines after your studies? After your studies, after you graduate here in Canada? Usually family, work, business, and any other home ties. What matters most here is you will be able to convince the immigration officer that you are going back home to the Philippines after your studies. Or you are going back home to wherever you are from after your studies. The only key that I want you to remember here, convince the immigration officer that you are going back home after your studies convince be realistic be truthful i want you to be realistic and truthful in this one of course yeah most of the filipinos most of the students coming here in canada are staying here after education after their studies they're staying um by having work permit after studies and then um at the end of the day everyone almost everyone almost everyone is applying for their permanent visa here in canada but the more important thing here is be truthful for now you are going to canada to study for you to be able to have the knowledge for you to be able to have that experience that you may able to use to make your business bigger to make your business um, compete into a wider market so that's for the home ties why are you going back home because I have my families to my families waiting for me I have my families to support I have my business that's waiting for me I have my business who's waiting for the knowledge that I am about to acquire from Canada I have my siblings 
I have my child, I have my children, I have my wife or spouse. They're waiting for me to back to come back home. And I don't want to wait long, 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 long time for me to see them again. So after my studies, I promise, immigration officer, I promise, I'm going back home to the Philippines after my studies. That's the sixth one. Next is going to be future plans. For the future plans, guys, it's just like somewhat or something like, you're exploring more or you're you're discussing more about your home ties what i did in my statement of purpose for my future plans is that this is the same thing i discussed earlier i want to learn i want to learn about business i want to learn and have that experience from canada for me to make my business better here's the key things for you to remember where are you going to use the knowledge? Where are you going to use the experience that you are going um, to have from Canada? From Canadian um, education system, from Canadian work experience, of course, you are allowed to work 20 hours a week here in Canada as a student. Um, so you're going to be able to have that experience here in Canada to, or different... Um, cultures because Canada is so diverse you're gonna be working with different nationalities I did I've been working with uh, individuals from India I work with individuals from Afghanistan I work with individuals from Croatia from Romania yeah Canadians of course and even my fellow Filipinos I work with different nationalities, different cultures, different techniques. So that's gonna be a challenge, of course, for you when you went here, when you when you go here, and uh, a challenge. But that's gonna be a big, big key for you to have that experience and knowledge to make your business to used to for the furtherance of your business to make your business good to make your business better to engage your business or to bring your business into a bigger market or you can also use that knowledge and experience for you or for you to have a better career back home in the Philippines so that's 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 the future plans for me for me um since i have my own business back home in the Philippines i use the one as as the essential or the the key for the discussion of my future plans. I really, really want a business back home in the Philippines. I really, really want to make my business bigger. I really, really want to compete internationally when it comes to business. So that's going to be um, what you have to tackle or discuss in your future plans. Lastly, guys, this is somewhat very um, general on every letters, on every application you are writing. Your message guys to the immigration officer some people might say that it is not necessary anymore but for me this is very important also it is just a brief message a short message for the immigration officer tell the immigration officer that you are hoping that they will consider your application um, show your eagerness um, show how important this application is for you and show them really, really, really how you want to be here in Canada, how you want to be here in Canada, the, the knowledge that the Canada, that the college the Canada can offer you is one of the best. In the, that is what you want to have, in the, is one what you want to take advantage of. That is kind of everything that I want or, or that an immigration want to see in your statement of purpose so guys um just remember as well brother aaron said make your sop or statement of purpose um concise make it complete by putting every single part that we discussed today and make it good be realistic guys show the eagerness show how you really want to be here in canada 
convince that immigration officer. So guys, that's gonna be all for today. Thank you for watching and please do me a favor again. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification um, button to be updated with our next videos. Guys, um, I'm doing these videos to help and guide some aspiring or interested individuals to be here in Canada, to study here in Canada. I am I'm kind of helping. Uh, I, my goal is to help individuals with their concerns about studying in Canada. So please guys, help me spread the words. Help me spread the videos, guys. So we can be able to help more individuals to have just an idea about applying as an international student in Canada. Again, guys, thank you so much and uh, see you again on the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.